Hundreds gathered in Ochimbingwe recently for the remembrance of the meeting held by Ovaherero traditional leaders in this town 150 years ago. The ceremony was filled with traditional practices as well as discussions about the country's current affairs. But high up on the agenda were discussions to bring to an end the division, infighting and power struggles within the traditional authorities of the various Ovaherero and Ovambanderu communities. Not all the leaders have been attending the community meetings though, as some have chosen to boycott gatherings such as this. There are some um, prominent Herero chiefs that are not part of it at this point in time. But of course, uh, I think the, the initiative has substance. The, 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 there must be substance. There must be substance in the, in the discussion. Uh, and uh, there must be also a hand to, to extend to those that are refusing to come at this point in time. Because people's differences are very... Are, are, are many. Uh, some of them are political, some of them are traditional, some of them are economical, but of course the, the, there is a need to make sure that, 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 we bring, that we bring people together and make sure that we, we engage so that we find common solutions to some of these problems because no community, whether, whether we are politically divided, we must have those divisions, we must live with those divisions, or social divisions, but as, as a community, we must have certain days, certain, certain times. How do we unite Namibia if a simple, one single community cannot work together? One of the many reasons of the conflict is the takeover of the chieftaincy after Chief Munjuko Ngubalva died in 2008. Nonetheless, many have hope that there will soon be unity amongst the community members. Kudachi Sweater Brandt reporting for the news on one.